So I just had coffee with Purito <clears throat> and they've, you might have seen on Instagram, they've come out with two wash off masks. So I'm really excited to try these. First of all, it's probably one more suited towards oily combination skin. So this is a clay mask. This one contains um, kaolin and bentonite clays. So this one is going to help, um, I guess, refine pores, leading to a more smoother complexion. I've got refreshing on the back here. Um, and then the one that I was actually more excited to try was their honey mask, which is more suited to drier skin type. So this is more of a soothing mask. It says hydrating on the side glow and plump so yeah I'm super excited to try this one the texture judging by what I've seen on Instagram of this one looks amazing and I like how the mask is in a squeezy bottle tube which means it's more hygienic so yeah I think this would make a really good double masking pair as well so if you wanted to add this one to your t-zone and then have this on your cheeks and any other dry areas I think the both would complement each other really well so I'm super excited to try these and thank you Purito for gifting them to me. Hi everyone, it's my last day in Korea. I didn't vlog yesterday because I went to Jeonju with a friend and I actually, after the hectic week, I just wanted a day to enjoy being there. Um, I had lunch with her family, which was really lovely. But I did visit some filming locations from 2521, so I might put some pictures in this vlog so you can see. Um, and you can also see them on Instagram. But yeah, I felt like I just needed a little bit of a rest. But today's my last day in Korea. Um, I've got an appointment at two o'clock to get my nails done at Dashing Diva. I'm hoping to meet Lucy, who I met via Instagram um, and have known her for quite a few years on Instagram since starting Beauty and Soul for coffee. She's just landed in Korea yesterday. And then I finally have to do some shopping because I haven't had a chance to really get things that were on my wish list. But I've just started packing to see what space I have left and it's looking pretty, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna hit the weight limit. I need to look up my Lufthansa package allowance, but let me just show you. This case obviously needs sorting. It's basically full of products. That's my outfit that I'm gonna wear on the flight tomorrow. It's stuffed to the brim with choco pies that I bought yesterday in Jeonju. Then I need to fit all of this skincare in there. I'm gonna give some products to a friend, but then all the products, all the products that I brought with me, including my toiletries bag, I also need to fit in as well. So it's going to be hard, but that's a problem for later. By the way, this foundation, this is the Espoir B Glow Pro Tailor Foundation. It's got SPF 25 in. I am in the shade, I believe 23, 23 beige. Um, I really like it. It leaves a very dewy finish. To be honest, this shade might be a little light for me. I'm not sure. Um, but it does kind of blend in well. But it's a very runny, lightweight formula. It's glowy. And yeah, I find it doesn't transfer too much on my mask either. But it just looks like, I don't know, a better version of my skin. It's almost got like a little bit of a priming effect. I really like it.
okay well it fits I'm not sure it's within the weight limit but it fits so worst comes to worst I'm just gonna have to pay the extra I think having the remainder of my white chocolate and matcha scone I'm watching 25-21 and I've got cooling leg patches on these feel so good they're just these patches that you can get in a lot of um, convenience stores or in Olive Young and they kind of have like tiger balm or menthol but it just really like cools and helps soothe tired feet so you can put them here or you can put them here but I really like them so I stocked up on them I've got so many cuts and blisters from running around Seoul for so many meetings oh. but I love my nails my skin has probably been the best it's like ever been on this trip and I really thought I would be breaking out loads I bought loads of mugwort centella and lots of soothing products with me because I thought because I have to wear the mask everywhere basically in Korea you're really supposed to wear it outside inside when you're not eating um, and they're quite strict about it here so I really thought I was going to get a lot of mask knee my skin was going to get really dry and red and irritated but it's actually been the best that it's probably ever been and I honestly think it's down to that triadicate facial because after the flight coming here it was quite red and extremely dry and that facial was just amazing it's definitely I'd say my new favorite place um, to go if you're looking for a really bespoke soothing facial non-invasive um, which I think is just perfect when you come off the long flight from Korea anyways I'm all packed I leave tomorrow morning um, I probably won't vlog tomorrow because it's not really much exciting going to happen but I hope you enjoyed following me around Seoul I'm sorry if I didn't vlog as much as I had planned to I wanted to I think because I'm by myself it's quite difficult I'm not really used to vlogging by myself and whipping out the camera and a lot of places in Korea they're quite sensitive with people being in the background and things like that and yeah I just found it a little bit difficult and obviously I was in maybe three or four meetings a day and I couldn't just whip out the camera when I was in meetings yeah, let me know if you guys want a haul video I'm not sure I can fit it all into one video honestly the, the two suitcases are absolutely packed to the brim with skincare but I can maybe try and show quickly in another video um, the stuff that I bought and the stuff that was gifted from brands because there's some really exciting new products um, in there as well including some that the brands themselves haven't announced yet but hopefully by the time these vlogs are out then they will have so yeah um, thanks to everyone that has watched my little trip to Seoul hopefully I'll be back again soon and I'll see you in the next video bye